Well, hello everybody. So we launch our brand new one day special and have we got a corker for you. Made to surprise. Uh, brand new today, one day special, designed by Sam. Uh, I have to say, She's done such a good job. And what she's brought you is a real innovation. So we've got three different options with regard to the one day special. What you are getting though is, uh, I love the movement with the card. If I just show you here, uh, and this is the foundation. So you're getting a die that gives you a movement card. So this is option number two. Uh, the five by seven rectangle card. So the way they differ, it is the size of the card. Can I just show you my absolute favorite that gives a great, uh, th this really does showcase the movement and potential. Okay, so you're seeing us here. Yay, it's your birthday. Amazing. Okay. Now, this is very, before lockdown, if somebody brought in a cake, this would be the team. So you, you lay the cake down in the kitchen and within seconds, Ba -ba, there you go, there's cake. Uh, I just love it. And we've got the characters coming through. So that's another option. And uh, obviously the size of the card is the variant there. And I'll just show you the final one. Is this one, is it? No, I'll put that there. I will get that. It's not, uh, I think it's the square. Is it this one? I think it's this one or a little flower one. We'll, we'll show you, we'll get a picture of that going through. So that's your final option there. So have a look. Uh, the details will explain that. But look, you're not just getting the one die. You're getting so much more, whichever option you go for. So you will be getting the die and say the difference between the options, the size of the card. So you're getting effectively your die to create your own unique kinetic card, that wonderful swing or wipers uh, card, I should say. Then you'll get the character dies to bring life to uh, the uh, stamps, which you will be getting. So this is option number two, uh, and embracing obviously rockets, balloons, clouds, helicopters, sentiments, all reflecting it. You got, I love this banner, put the back of the plane. So you kind of, you know, when planes go across and have a, ban a banner in there as well, fabulous flight. So getting all of those, that's set number two. Uh, I think we do have Sam on the phone line, Sam. Hi, hello. Hello, Sam, how are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, it's lovely uh, to chat to you, Sam. I have to say, I absolutely love this one day special. Thank you. <laughs> because as a crafter, if you asked me to make uh, any of the wiper cards, I wouldn't know where to start. And it's the measurements and getting everything right here. Literally, you're letting the die do all the work for you. Yeah, exactly. It's allowing people to be able to make fun kinetic cards with the dies already there and you can just add then whatever you want to it. And that it's is really the key because you can then dip into your stash. I know with the one day special, uh, you're getting stamps and the coordinating dies in the mix too. But um, and you're also chatting to Kim, our producer, and you're saying like this is really the start because then you can start going and exploring so many different aspects of craft. Yeah, definitely. Those dies can be used with so much. So they're to be an addition to what you already will have at home. Yeah. You know, so, you know, for, for people that have got other occasions or other um, themes that they want to use, they'll be able to combine them with the dies. Amazing. So, look, made to surprise. Tell us, tell us a little bit about what inspired you to bring this collection as a crafter. Obviously, you had the opportunity to bring out your own, uh, your own range. So what was it about this set that really inspired you? Um, I had all my samples with me. I sat down with the team and everybody was drawn to the wiper card to start yeah. with. And uh, they were just, yeah, they loved it. And we, then we started from there, really deciding on, you know, what kind of themes to put with them. I love the characters. The animals are just adore. Yeah. And April the giraffe is uh, a, a big favorite by everybody. You know, I, I, I think I, I agree with that as well. So <laughs> what I love is with the actual, and you're, you're right in saying, like the whole team, we kind of gravitate towards the actual dynamic of, because there's something about a card that has movement. So the wiper movement, it really does draw you in. Uh, you can use the, everything that you get with a one day special, but also I think you start exploring dies and stamps that you already have in your stash and see them in a whole different light. Yeah, definitely. Can you just um, explain to me, uh, Sam, about the different sizes? So with regard to the options, so just talk us through so we're clear on, on the sizes. Yeah, so you have the six by six yep. wiper, you've got the five by seven wiper, and then you have the five by seven Z fold. 
Okay. And all of them can also be double wipers. So there is a double wiper Z fold, which well, you have with yeah. Jerry there. Okay. And so that's just one of the other styles. And I do have a video which will show you how to make that one. Well, we look forward to seeing it. Did you have fun doing this set, Sam? I did. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it right. was great so, fun. Sam, it has been an absolute pleasure. Have, have you been getting on in lockdown? You've been doing a lot of crafting? Well, actually, yeah, weirdly, with this launching during lockdown, I've had the time to really put in and make all these samples. And I have to thank my mum as well, because she did do some of those as well. Oh, we've got to give your mum a, a name check. What's your mum's name? She's a crafter name? as well, so... What's your mum's name? <laughs> Julie. Julie. Well, well done, Julie. Uh, Sam, been an absolute pleasure. You've done such a good job. So uh, oh, we are you. getting busy for... Oh, can I just say, we're getting busy for the complete collection as well. Sam, take care, uh, and I look forward to yeah, seeing no. your demonstration. OK, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye, Sam. Hi. Oh, sounds lovely. So uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to give you details for the complete collection. A lot of you are going for that complete collection and let's have a look at it because you're getting a great price. Now you're getting all three die options. So all three different sizes and obviously all the uh, stamps and dies that come with each option as well. For £114.85, you're saving £11 in the mix. So uh, great saving on there as well. And you'll be able to split the price too. So you will have flexi options. Uh, can I just say, you're also carrying over the savings from the one day, seven, uh, one day special. So in actuality, you're saving £32. Uh, if you're not a Freedom member, if you are a Freedom member, that saving jumps up to, I think it's £42? Around that, 40, uh, £43 and 48 pence. So just showing you everything that you are getting, you can see that here. Uh, this is the complete collection. So if you're a Freedom member, you're saving £43 and some change, and you're getting everything for £34, £46 today. That's your first flexi payment. Uh, and when we say everything, can I just show you, it's not just the sets that we're seeing in the one day special, but you're also getting, uh, we're embossing folders in the mix as well, and two paper pads. So, I mean, that is an, oh, we, can we, do you mind if we just backtrack, let's get to the end and just, because I think it's important, because we can't get it in physically in one shot. So if we just see, you're going to get, the complete collection. So this is set number one, option one. You will get that in the complete collection. Then you're going to get option number two. And then we have obviously option number three. And in each of the options, you're getting dies. You're getting the, uh, the die to do the actual uh, wiper uh, cards in there. Then you're getting the uh, stamps and coordinating dice. So you're getting all of those. Uh, you're also going to get the embossing folders which we're gonna see here. So you are gonna get those embossing folders and they're massive, so you're getting all four of those. Love the clouds. Uh, and you're gonna be getting the paper pads in the mix as well. Well, I'll tell you what, shall I just have a little a flick? I'm just gonna, I'll just, let me just show you here. Shall I just flick through there? We'll be able to see what you're getting in the paper pads. Oh, I like that. Bright and fun. So that, all about celebration. So there's one of the paper pads coming through. And then very quickly, I will show you the other one as well. Oh, all right, I'll just leave that down there. Brilliant. Just going to show you what you're getting as part of the complete. So you can see it on your screen and already 20, 20%. 20% of the complete has gone. So a lot of you are popping that complete into your baskets. Don't miss out. £103.37 your price if you're a Freedom member. Uh, i tell you what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to now hand over to the lovely Sam who's going to talk you through, she's got a great demonstration, just highlighting the fantastic one day special. Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the 5x7 Z Fold die sets. That's this one here and then I'm also going to be using the Amazing Animals die set and the stamps with that as well. The papers that I'm going to use are from the Seams paper pad and I'm going to be going for this one here which you can see I've already cut. So first of all you need to die cut the main card. So I'm going to be using this green colour and this is the large one here and I'm going to die cut that one onto this piece like so. And then also the kind of the, the bottom Z fold part is here. This is the back, this is the front. And then I've gone ahead and cut that pattern paper using the matte die so it gives you that perfect matte layer. You just want one piece for the back. This one here is to create that matte for this Z fold piece here so it will sit perfectly in that section 
and that's just using the bottom part of that same paper. And then you want these pieces here, and I've die cut two, and that's using this smaller one here, and that's for the side sections, which you'll see. And then also you will want two pieces of this smaller one here, which again will give you the smaller mats for that bottom Z fold piece. So that's all of those kind of mats done. And then you will need for this one, because I'm showing you a double wiper style, so you'll want to die cut the mechanism twice. And this is the mechanism with that triangular piece that there at the bottom. You also get a matte layer for that, so if you do want to have, you know, if it's going to be maybe seen, you're not going to cover all of it, you do have a matte layer that you can also cut in that pattern paper. But for this one, it's going to be quite full, and I'm just going to show you a different way of using them. So that's those two there. So I'm going to get these two die cut. Now, if you don't have a long extender plate on your die machine, it doesn't matter. All I'd recommend you do is just tack it down with a little bit of you know, low tack tape at each end and then you can just run it through and then just shift it along your plates and run it through the other end and then you've, you've cut it. Because this will, all of these dies will fit through your standard cutting machines. If you've got an extender plate then okay it will help, you can just do it in one pass but otherwise just do it like I'm doing here and then you can just run it through one end and then run it through the other. Okay so they're both die cut so now we just want to fold and burnish. If you do a mountain and then a valley so we're actually going to have this on the right hand side and then with this one you want to do a mountain and a valley and we're going to end up sticking that one there and then to there for our Z fold. Okay, But before we stick this piece on it's best to attach your pattern paper So because you can lay this down flat like so. Okay, So I'm going to stick those three down there Okay, that's that one, and then I'm going to do the same with this piece here, so I'm going to stick this one there, and you'll see you get that perfect one eighth of an inch border around all of your pieces there, so again, I'm just going to stick these ones down. Okay, so you'll have two pieces like this, and then you want to add some glue to the back of this one here, and we're going to attach it down the bottom left hand corner here. Okay, and then I'm going to fold that back and then I'm going to bring this one over like so. It's best to stick it down and that way you know when it's all folded and that way you know that it's all going to fold flat and fit into your envelope. Now with this one here what I like to do is I just put my finger there at the top, take that away and I know I need to add my glue all within that area. If you want to pop a little pencil mark there or something just to make it a bit easier then you can do but I'm just going to add my glue there and then I can just flip that over just lay that one down there. Now you can add the mechanism before or after. I actually think for this Z fold it's much easier to add it when you've put all this together so we will attach those pieces in a moment. Okay so this now is all ready for us to attach the mechanism pieces. So on the mechanism you'll see there's this score line. You just want to fold and burnish that and I like to do it in both directions. And what's going to happen is you're going to add some glue onto the top of this, we're going to fold it over so it's away from us and then we're going to stick it inside here but it is easy to do if you just pop it underneath because you're folding that piece back, you can just see the triangle there, the glue's on that piece, fold it, you know, push it down with your finger there and you're going to bring it right up so this flat edge here is in line with this score line and you just want to make sure that you can't see it okay and then when we go to pull that piece back the triangle will stick on that piece there. And I just think it's a bit easier doing it when it's all together because you can make sure that it's all hidden and you know that you've butted it right up into that part there. But another thing you might want to do and that you can do with these, I guess, the plates, but they're all different sizes within the die sets. On the 5x7 and the 6x6, it's a larger, I guess, area that you can hide the wiper. So they're larger plates. This here has to be able to fit behind this section but you can still trim it a little bit. Now, you can't trim anything on the left-hand side where the triangle is there, but you can take a little bit off of here. So I'm just gonna trim about a quarter of an inch off of both of these, just on that side. But you don't have to, it does still work. We've made it so that it works for that size. But because I'm gonna be adding these giraffes onto this and some leaves, just to ensure that it does all hide away, I've just trimmed a little bit off. So I'm just gonna add some glue. I'm just using a quick grab glue here, okay, like so. I'm going to keep it folded away from me. I'm popping it underneath there, so I'm just holding it, but with the glue piece facing away there. And then just bring it down and just 
make sure that that piece is right up, nice and straight, fold it over and it's all tucked within this section here. Now you have that wiper pop-up piece. And then next we want to add this one to this side, but this time we want the triangle down, I guess, the bottom right-hand corner here. And you're going to add the glue on the top here, like so. Just going to pop a little bit more there. And then this one, you can just keep it in flat. This is another way to do it as well. I want to show you, you know, many ways. And you want to, we're basically going to stick this triangle into this bit here. So can you see where I've just sat it down in that section there? Okay, and you can see here it's right along the bottom here and it's butted right up to that score line there. Okay, and just sit it there, bring that down towards you. Again, each time you want to just make sure it's hidden behind this section here. Just let that grab. And now you have your second wiper piece that pops up. Okay, so next we can now move on to decoration. Okay, so this is, I call her Jerry the giraffe. I think she's absolutely adorable and she's from the Amazing Animals stamp set. So I've already stamped and coloured her in and I've added some shine there to her tongue and her eyes and I just think she looks really, really cute. So the idea is, is that Jerry is going to pop out this side here and then Jerry's twin is going to pop out the other side here. However, I would like them to be looking at each other and not facing away from each other. So I'm just going to do some quick mirror stamping. So I've got that stamp set here and I've just got a media plate inside my stamping platform here. And then I've just got some black ink and I'm just going to ink up my stamped image there. And I'm going to stamp it onto the media plate, but you don't want to push down too hard. Just lightly kind of tap until you get a nice transfer onto that plate. Go in a little bit more. And you can always go in and kind of darken the, you know, the black areas or the, the eyes, any other detail that may have been missed. But there you go, I'm quite happy with that one there. And then this works best with a smooth cardstock. So I've just got a smooth white cardstock here. And what I like to do is pop it on the media plate and kind of lift it up like that and then kind of just let it roll down onto the image and then just make sure you get a nice transfer and then I like to roll it back again so just lift up that end carefully let it all roll up and you will have a really nice transfer of your stamped image that you can now go in and colour and you can you know add in any of those little details if you feel that they might be slightly missed. Now I have already gone ahead and done that one and you can see here again I've just coloured the same way, added some shine and now we have two really cute stamped images that face each other. So it's a really fun very quick technique. So I've got those all ready and then what I've gone ahead and done is I've stamped and cut a variety of the leaves. So I've done all of these beforehand because this is going to be quite a full card and then I've also got the daisies here which I have coloured in a selection of colours with little yellow centres and again I just add a little bit of shine inside there but you can see this is the daisy one here that we've used. We've got lovely Jerry the giraffe there and then this is the leaf here as well. For the sentiment I'm using the die that comes with that die set but you do also have all those really nice subtitles there as well. I love the galloping by to say. So anyway next we want to start building everything. So it's up to you how you want to start this kind of card. The idea is, is that I'm going to have a lot of leaves all stuck on the front panel and then these will both pop up on those panels there with more leaves around them. So I think I'm going to start building the leaves on the front first of all. Now what I would say with these is just curl the front. It just adds a little bit more interest and it will just ensure that nothing catches when the wipers kind of fall back down, you know, behind this panel here. Now the sentiment I'm going to use, I'll bring this in now because I've already gone ahead and die cut the bottom part of it. So I'm going to die cut the top in green and I love this sentiment, yay it's your day. You know you can add that to quite a few things but this is the plate here, yay it's your day. So I've gone ahead and die cut it in three pieces of white cardstock and then stuck them on top of each other so it's very dimensional. I do like to have dimensional sentiments, I just think they, they do, they just stand out that little bit more. So I've gone ahead and done that one already 
but I'm going to die cut that one as well and stick that on top. But while I've got this here, that is going to be in the centre here and it's going to be backed with some green card, as um, sorry, it's going to be backed with some white card stock so you're not going to see the bottoms of the leaves. But if you kind of sit it there, just so you can see where you can tuck the leaves behind, it might help you as you put all this together. Okay, so I've just die cut the green sentiment. I'm just popping a little bit of glue just on the back here. You don't need much, just to kind of tack it all in place. And then I'll just show you how it's easy, how easy it is to just back the sentiment just so it pops a little bit, like so. I think that's really, really nice. I'm just going to grab some white cardstock. Just got a strip here, and again, just add your glue onto the back here. I'm just going to line the top up with the very top of the card, so you're having to cut that piece, like so. And you can see instantly how great that sentiment looks against that white. And then I'm just going to come in with my scissors. You could do a border if you wanted to, but I quite like having it cut right up along the bottom there, like so. And then I'm just going to follow that along the top. So now we've got a really nice sentiment topper and you could put this on any cards. It's just, I think, great. So you can see now when I sit that over the top of this, how good that looks. And we're gonna add flowers onto this as well. So I'm gonna grab some glue. You could put some foam onto the back of this if you wanted to, but there's already quite a lot of dimension. I'm just gonna stick it straight down. And I wanna get it kind of in the middle of that section there. And whilst that's drying, I'm gonna bring in these flowers. So I might actually put some foam on these, just so they're kind of lifted to the same level as that sentiment. So I'm going to pop some foam on this one here and oh, take the backing off. And this one can go, oh, that's still drying, let's just pop that down. I'm going to pop this one there. I like that one. I'm going to grab the purple one. How lovely does that look, ready for our wonderful giraffes to pop up from. So we're going to grab, let's grab this one here first of all. So what you want to do here is when you stick this down, it's going to lay down behind this section like this. But because we've got all the leaves built up now, you know, don't worry if a little bit of the ears poking up because you're not going, you're not going to see any of it because of the leaves there. So it's just quite handy to do the, the front first and then add your pop-up piece because you've got a lot to be able to hide it behind. So I'm going to have her, I reckon about there. And what I'm going to do when I stick her down is I'm only going to add glue to the bottom part of her neck because that allows you to be able to build up and tuck things behind her even when it's stuck down. So I'm going to stick her down, plus use, using a liquid glue is good for these kind of kinetic cards because it gives you time to move stuff. So can you see I've got a little bit of her ear poking out? I don't want that. But because I've got that liquid glue, I can just push it up and then just push down. And you can see she's completely hidden now, ready for her debut. <laughs> and we're going to build up some more leaves there. Yeah, these things I just absolutely love. They're just so much fun to do. So again, I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on the bottom there. And I'm going to lay the card down flat and just pop her. Also, you don't want to make sure they go over the top of the card here as well. So liquid glue is your best friend when you come to making these kind of cards. So again, I'm just going to kind of lightly tack it there and then move that. Oh no, it's completely hidden, so that's perfect. Yeah, and just make sure they're really stuck down, like so. Now, another thing, a few little tips and things whenever you're making kinetic cards, is we're going to build up more behind her in a minute, but you do want to put a little curl into her so she's curl kind of curving away from the card, and that way it will help her, again, slide in, because right now she's kind of just catching there, but once we put a curl into that card stock, everything will will really function very well. So now again I'm going to start building up my leaves behind these giraffes and I really I just want to get rid of that green on the mechanism but because I've used the same colour it doesn't matter if a little bit is poking through because it will all end up matching very nicely. So
there you have your double wiper card. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I'll just bring it up a bit closer there for you to see all the detail. And just by, like I said, adding that curl there, it just gives you that depth to the card. And you've got all the dimension there with this. I also added some just, you know, sparkle. So you could just go in there, add a little bit of sparkle to the sentiment just for, you know, a bit more added interest. You could add some bling onto this. You know, it's entirely up to you but I do love all the dimension that this card can give you. Just quickly whiz along there now that I've started. And also, if you just die cut this die here that gave you your mat for the pattern paper, just die cut it again and pop it on the back and you've got your space there to be able to write your message. So there is my double wiper card. That looks amazing sam i just love the concept just going to show you here because this was the very card that sam's been working on so let's just all take a moment to think about this it's going to be a lot of fun to make but then for me the real fun is when you do make a card giving it to someone seeing their fascination when they pull on it and ba 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 hey hey imagine that and you know what you can I love the fact doubling up, so you and a friend, uh, if you want to like, create a little bit of a gang, like, hey, hey, parte. You know, I'm wondering what you could do. How about adding a little bit of some bunting or something to them? So when they come out, it's like, whoa. Uh, you can do a lot with it. I love the characters that you're getting here as well. Uh, now, just to point out the difference. So if you're going to go for option number one, we have got details for the complete, but you can get individual options. Uh, just going to show you the one day special. So the so this is the first option with the one day special. And this is what you were getting. I've actually got the card. Uh, this is your six by six square card die. You are also getting the speech bubbles in the mix as well. So think about the sentiments that you have in your home. You're going to get the characters that you're seeing here. Now you're getting the dies for these characters and the stamps. We love the characters. This is the amazing animals. Have a look at this. Because this is the size that you get with option number one. Now think about the sentiments that you might have and then ba ba, hey hey. You're not that old. Oh, it's, it's the kind of card that I receive now. My birthday is, you're not that old. There you go. Because I don't, I don't tell anyone my actual age, no. Um, so let's just show you very quickly. You're getting, that's the die for this option. So you can see the six by six. You've got your speech bubbles in there as well. And obviously, oh, and I have to say, that is a great sentiment. Really nice, bold sentiment that you're getting in there. Uh, it's happy birthday. Then we've got our dies here. Now these won't make a lot of sense until you see the stamp. So we've got the dies which are cut out there and then the character, look at this character, I love it. So they're, f they're big and bold. So you've got like a horse, you've got the leaf, you've got the flowers, you've got all of these sentiments coming in. You're not that old, stay cool. Uh, why the long face? Come on, happy birthday, uh, it's your birthday galloping by so you can start putting those together as well the horseshoe in the mix that's your first option uh, amazing animals one of my faves something like this and i really do like and i'm not just putting this on please don't think i'm just getting enthusiastic because i'm here and it's my job genuinely i love the concept of the wiper dies so for me i would be tempted to go for the complete and i would take advantage of the three flex payments but that is just me uh, let's move on we've also got the second option now, this is a five by seven rectangle die uh, and you're getting your fabulous flight. Let me just show you. So this is the card that you'll be making. Yay, it's your birthday. And then you get that movement coming through. Oh, by the way, we have got the holographic cardstock. Can you see the holographic cardstock? Uh, just in this example, the only reason I bring it up is because we have got holographic cardstock as part of a seven day saver, uh, A6 cardstock, just taking a little look. And what you are getting, uh, we'll just bring up the details. So there it is. $9.99, saving £20 uh, in the mix. Uh, but we are limited stock, so it doesn't look like it's going to last a full duration. Do not miss out. Okay, having a look here. Now, this is option number two uh, that you're getting. I'm just going to show you the boards that we are getting. So uh, there's the die. Obviously a different size here for option number two. Again, you're getting the speech bubbles. You're getting the sentiment uh, that says, yay, it's your birthday. And then as we go through, you've got the dies for the shapes, which you can see here. 
and you can see them cut out the air balloon, you've got the plane, you've got the clouds and the rocket, and you can see all of that reflected here in the mix. But I'll show you some inspirations because, pop that down for a moment, that, I know I just showed it to you, but isn't that nice with the balloons? Or how about this? And don't just think, and it's something in chatting with Sam, she was really conscious to get across that, yes, of course you can make these wiper dies, but you can still doesn't stop you uh, making conventional cards in the mix as well. So you've got all the elements if you want. But when you do take it to that next level, so look, ordinary card, yeah, I like it, it's cool. Different level, what? Oh, come on. I just love the animals. I have to go for the complete if, uh, if, it, was, if it was me. But just, that is going to seriously put a, a smile on a lot of faces because here it looks great. But when you open up, whoop, whoop, that's, look, th I'll show you. This is my friends. When it's me, I'll say, anyone want a drink? Whoop, what? No, what, what drink? Uh, there we go. That's your second option. 29.97 is your price, saving seven pounds, 346, 457, your item number. Uh, now we've got the five by seven Z fold, uh, and this is your funky flowers. So we're just showing you here. So there is your five by seven Z fold. You're seeing that size there. Five by seven Z fold. You've got your sentiment in the mix as well. Then we've got cutouts and these will make sense when I show this. So you've got all your flowers in the mix too. So your funky flowers. And I'll show you some inspirations because you know what you could do? You could make a nice little box if you want. Or, and I just want to show you the difference. So this is the unique card that you get with this option, the Z fold. Yay, it's your day. Beautiful flowers. Ba -ba -ba -bom. Oh, it's like they're blooming coming out to the sun, ba -ba. there you go, love those. Or how about something like this? So again, using one of the different option dies, but you can do this if you have the complete because they are so uh, mixing, or well, they're interchangeable, I should say, mix and match. I like that, just a few little flowers coming through. Or you can make something like this. Oh wait, this is nice. Have a look at this, what? And we have got the paper pads as well, which play very nicely uh, with your collections. Now, what do you think is going to come out here? Ba -ba. It's the flowers. Okay, so uh, details on your screen if you do want to go for this option. Remember, uh, those are options with the one day special. You are saving seven pounds. You'll get your foundation, which is the um, effectively the die blank. Uh, creating the Z fold for this option. You're getting the dies for the flowers and you're getting all the stamps in the mix. All of that for 29.97. Uh, 346, 457, your item number. But if you would like 21 pound savings from the one day special, you'll get that in the complete collection. And on top of that, you get the 11 pound saving in there as well. So do take advantage and have a look if you're a Freedom member. It gets even better. 103 pounds and 37 pence is your price. The complete collection, not only do you get all the options, the three options for the one day special, but you're gonna get four embossing folders, which we're gonna to come to in just a moment. There they are, dun dun dun. Uh, so you've got the chevrons, you've got like the pebbles going through, the love the cloudy background. Uh, and then we get both paper pads. 103 pounds and 37 pence. Should we just have a look at the embossing folders? I want to show you, this is a good example. We were talking about, and we didn't plan this. It just so happens uh, that these were the samples we were sent. Now you can see here, this is some, uh, it, it's holographic cardstock that, um, with that rainbow effect. And we actually have similar cardstock, different size, A6, at the bottom of your screen for 9.99. Just let me go through the uh, different styles. So these are with the embossing folders. You've got your chevron, which you can see there. Then we've got, now I described it as sort of like, uh, I apologize, I describe it as little stones, like pavement stones, but uh, pebbles rather, but they're not, they're like balloons, little balloons. So very celebratory. Uh, then we've got your confetti. And finally, I love the clouds. And then you've got your clouds. 
Okay, there we go. Uh, so all four of those embossing folders, you can buy them individually for 1996, or you can get the four pound saving. Uh, and so all the savings, can I just point out, all the savings that you see, so the four pound saving here, the 21 pound saving you would have had across the individual options, the one pound saving, all of that factored in. And then finally, we have got our papers. Having a look. So you're getting both paper pads. $15.98 your price. Should we have a little flick through? Should I pick these up and have a little flick through? So uh, here we've got beautiful, fun, vibrant paper. And I have to say, the, the papers really do lend themselves to the cards. Nice bright colours, good designs coming through. So there we go. I think we've seen most of the designs there. Okay, and then the designs are repeated. And let me just show you this one as well. And this is more floral. Oh, but then we've got the balloons in the mix as well. Oh, I like this. So you're going to start building up scenes. Oh, see, this is a really nice paper pad. Yeah, we like this. So you are getting both of those and you're getting the rest if you go for the complete collection but if you just want to go for the paper pads 15.98 is your price they are eight by eight five six five one eight six your item number but remember we also have the complete collection so you are getting absolutely everything that we see here you're getting option number one option number two option number three of the one day special you're getting all four embossing folders and you're getting both paper pads you can see for your flexi payments, you're able to split the price in half. Uh, and also there is a freedom discount as well. Uh, I think we're going to go to our next demonstration with the lovely Sam. Very impressed with Sam as a crafter. And we're exploring the balloons, so enjoy. Hi everyone, for this video, I'm going to be using the Fabulous Flight die set and the stamp set there. And also the 5x7 rectangular wiper card die set. So I've pulled out everything that I'm going to be using for this one. I'm also going to be using the embossing folder, which I'll show you in a moment. So you get this large die here and you want to die cut that twice. So it gives you your front and back of your card. Then I've also gone and used the matte layer and you'll see how it fits perfectly on the front there. And I've used my favourite holographic cardstock and this one will just stick in the middle there. And I've also gone ahead and die cut four pieces using the side matte dies there as well. Okay, now we are going to be adding a layer and that's going to be the embossing folder which I'll be showing you in a moment. Now because I'm using the Fabulous Flight dies um, they work really well when you use acetate for the wiper mechanism. So I have die cut this. You do need to add some extra shims and you want a nice strong die machine just so you get that cut. And if you do have a few pieces that are you know, still attached, just snip them with your scissors. But it is worth using the acetate for this one. So this is a nice strong piece and I've just die cut that once there with the mechanism die. So first of all, we just want to start popping it together. So I'm just going to fold and burnish my score lines. So you want to fold one so it's a mountain and then one so it's a valley. So you've got that Z fold. Okay, so you'll have two like this. You just want to flip one over and pop it on the top and you will have something like that. But we're going to have it so it opens that way. Okay, so I would suggest decorating the front. First of all, it's just a little bit easier. So I'm going to add my glue to the back of this piece here and just stick that one and you'll have that nice quarter inch border and then I've done four because I want to do two here and then two on the back and also you know use that matte layer to cut another piece maybe of pattern paper and you might add, want to add another layer and then you've got that space on the back there to be able to stamp and write your message so I'm just going to stick these down here Okay, so there's the back of that one and then this one here. And you can see how that's all going to stick together. Now before we attach the mechanism and everything, I just want to show you the embossing folder. So there's four folders in the collection and I'm using the cloud one here. Again, you can see I love the holographic cardstock. A little bit too much, I think. But I'm going to be using this one here. So I have already been doing some of this off camera. But basically what I'm going to show you is how you can get a really nice blue sky background with the white clouds. So you'll see here, mine's already got some 
some blue ink on there, but I'm going to reapply all of that in a moment. So I've got a piece of 5 by 7 cardstock here, and I find just best to use a, grab one here, I've just got one of these little pockets that you can put your cards in. And I'm just using some ink and I'm just going to cover the ink. Now, there's quite a few different ways that you can do this kind of technique, but I find this one works really, really well and I get great results. Now, it doesn't really matter how you apply the ink to this piece here. Let me just move away from the glare there of the um, my lamp. But I'm just kind of, and you can reapply as well. Um, some people like to use a brayer, but I really do like the effect, especially for creating that sky it gives you some really nice kind of like markings and stuff. So just cover that like so. Now you want to work on the debossed side. So you'll see this side here is raised. We don't want to work on that side. This side here, everything's on the debossed and this is the front. So it's where we've got the colour there in the clouds. So I'm going to flip it this way because it's easier for me to work. And I'm just going to pop this on here and it will kind of stick to the plastic and it will go quite taut and what you want to do with your finger is just go around all of the, well in this case it's the sky, so you don't really want to, try not to push onto the clouds because you don't want to get any ink in that section but if you do I'll just show you how you can very quickly just kind of wipe it away. I'm just going all the way around there and like I said you can reapply so I'm going to take it off but I think I want to go in just so I've got a bit more of a you know that I just want it to be nice nice and blue so I'm just going to give it a second layer I think I'm happy with that one so again I can just peel that off pop that safely to one side and then you just want to check that you haven't got any of the colour in the clouds and I think I caught yeah just a little bit here so I've just got a little bit of tissue and I'm just going to just take out if I can see any colour but I think we're good to go there that looks pretty good so I've got this piece here which I'm going to sit on this side and then I'm going to kind of hold it there and just kind of start from that way and just kind of push it up like so now I'm just going to run that through my dye machine Okay, and now we have the fun reveal. So you just want to lift this up, and there you have, if I bring it up, a really cool effect. And it's a great way to, you know, for you to be able to, in this case, see the clouds, see that lovely white fluffy cloud, and then you've got all that texture on the sky. And once we load our stamped images on top of it and stuff, it's going to look really fab. So I do want to now cut this one down. I'd already gone and done one off camera for the side pieces, so you would want to do two if you want to continue that kind of cloud effect onto these side pieces here. I do think it adds to it, I think it looks quite nice. So I've just cut those there. Now these pieces are one by four and a half. Okay, so I've got the four, so I've got them for the back as well. And then this piece, you just wanna to trim to four and a half by six and a half. Okay, so now I've got that piece and that's gonna stick onto the front of the card there. Now, because I'm sticking onto mirrored card, I would suggest using a double-sided tape, your red liner tape, something like that, just that, you know, it's will adhere much, much better to that um, smooth surface. So I'm just going to pop my tape on the backs of all of these and stick them all down. Okay, so now you can see how cool does that look? Really, really nice, especially with that lovely holographic frame there and there's the back. So before we stick it down, there's there are a few ways, and I will show those in the videos that you'll see today, of putting the mechanism inside the card. So some, you know, may prefer putting the mechanism in once you've stuck that down, which I show you you know, you may prefer to stick it down when it's still in two parts. So what I'm doing is I'm adding some red tape just over the triangle. And you want to do it so that the triangle's in the bottom left-hand corner, okay? So I'm just covering that. It's easy, I just find it quicker, plus I'm doing the video, just to cover it like so. And then, you know, make sure you use some uh, older scissors, ones that you don't care for too much although I can clean those up, but you just want to remove that. It's just much quicker that way, unless you've got thicker, you know, if you've got the thicker red tapes, you know, that are like one inch, then you can cover that in one go. But you can see there where I've just kind of covered that section like so. So what we're going to do is this is going to attach inside here onto this second panel. The first panel is going to be stuck to this, but this second panel here. Now we have got markings on the cardstock and you'll see them, you can just about make them out here and here, and there, and they're also on the die when you do cut it. But I don't really want you to focus on that because you can have this, 
in it to a degree you can have it anywhere you want it but you do need to check that whatever you put on top is going to fit because once this folds over obviously it's going to be attached it has to fit and that one's going to go there if I flip that back that's the space that you have so whatever you have on the top of this you don't want it to go past here because it just won't go in you know it won't close but you can trim this down which is why we've given you such a big plate here and you can obviously you know make it work for if you maybe have something that's a little bit smaller but I want to put two hot air balloons on this so because I want to, what I want to stick on there I'm going to have this I'm going to stick it quite far down so I've got about let's have a little look see what this one comes in at so it's just over an inch from the top okay so I'm going to remove my red tape here from the top okay and you're going to lay it in like this with that sticky part facing up see there and again about an inch from the top for me because of what I'm putting on it and when you fold this down it will sit perfectly within that section and you can just pretend but well, you can see there how it, I'm pushing it up with my hands because it hasn't got that piece of card on the back but you'll see now so it hides nicely within there and then it will pop up when we open it okay so again you can see there you can stick it that way as well if you want to so if you want to measure that way up this, there's, there's about three or four different ways that you can stick this mechanism in but you can see there okay it's about halfway down and then that will just fold and fall inside so hopefully that explains that way for you but I will show you some other versions throughout the videos today so next we want to attach the front to the back so I'm going to add my glue onto this side here I'm going to stick that one on there again just make sure they line up perfectly there's a nice strong glue because that will help hold these cards together keep them nice and straight and then you can just flip it over you then want to add glue to this panel here and then you can just hold that down and just fold the whole card flat just hold that there for a second okay so that's all stuck down and you can just pull it apart and you can see the acetate pop up there okay I'm going to be using the hot air balloons for this one so I have gone ahead and coloured these ones already I've used my coloured pencils and just done some simple colouring there and I've just got a nice highlight running through them all and then I've also brought in the plane here and the big flag there for the flyby and I'm going to stamp the birthday flyby so let me just grab stamp set here and you've got birthday flyby I'm just going to ink that one up Lay that one in the centre there and the plane and the balloon there have all been die cut using the matching dies. Okay so first of all I'm going to lay down these ones and I'm going to use some foam. I'm also going to bring in some of the birds as well. So I like to add two lots of foam for these because it really lifts them off the card. So I'm going to pop one about there and then we'll use this one here so again just pop a couple of those on top of each other and this one can be let's have it a bit more angled I think about there just cut one of these in half because I don't need it that thick I'm just going to pop that behind the plane and then we pop the plane about there, nice and straight, and then the flyby. I might add a little bit of glue onto him. I'm just going to trim this one here. Make sure you clean your hands between inking because I've spotted a tiny little bit of blue here and at the top there, so uh, I'll try and remove that, but uh, it doesn't matter. In fact, you can use your birds to cover that up, so that's what we do. So now I'm going to just tuck it just behind the end of the plane and sit that one there. So that's my sentiment. Looks really, really sweet. And I have this one kind of coming off like that and this one a little bit like that. So that's how it's going to look when it pops up. So I'm going to bring in my little bit of red tape that I've got left here and I'm just attaching it just over like the basket of the hot air balloon. So just a little bit there and maybe a little bit more on this one because it's going to cover a little bit more of the 
acetate. You can always add a bit more behind if you want. But this one I'm going to pop just about there. And the good thing about using this is you can reposition it. You can lift this back off the acetate. You've got to pull it a bit, but there is that, you know, you have got that time. And then this one I'm going to have maybe about there. And then we hope it all hides when you close it. Okay, and now we have that pop up. You can see there they just tuck in there nicely. All right, and then I'm going to finish it off with my little birds here, which I went and cut earlier. So just a little bit of glue. And like I said, <laughs> if you do get any little markings from your uh, ink, like here, so just pop a little bit of glue. We'll have a bird there. Let's do one up the top there just to disguise that area. And we'll do one. I always try and work in odd numbers, so I'll put one there and then we'll do one over this side here. And you could pop a little bit of you know double sided tape onto one of these and pop them up there with the the um the other hot air balloons as well. And then we'll do one up there. Okay, I think that looks really, really lovely. I'll just bring it up a bit closer there so you can just see all the dimension from the foam that we've used on the back of the hot air balloons. And you've got the plane at the bottom there and then up pops your hot air balloons and it does stand up nicely there when it's open as well. So that is using the Fabulous Flight and the 5x7 die set. The whole team were watching it. Sam, I know you're uh, currently watching the show and we did chat to Sam uh, via telephone at the start of the show. Personally, I, re I want to say, I think you're a fantastic crafter. I really do. And watching the uh, inspirations of videos that you've sent, I'm so glad that you've had an opportunity to bring out your own range because you deserve it. Uh, what we've got is a one day special. I'm going to go through that. Can I just say very quickly, because uh, we are extremely busy for our seven day saver, the, uh, we gave you a little glimpse of the mirror card. Now look at this. So you are getting your rainbow mirror card collection, 280 GSM in each of these. And look how much you are getting. That is a wedge uh, of mirror cards. So 200 sheets in total uh, there, but we are into single figures. And that's the only reason I'm showing that to you now because uh, potentially this might not last mm, this next hour, let alone till Sunday. Okay, so there we go. That's your mirror card, Pink Frog. Speaking of popular, we've got the complete collection for our one day special, over 40% of the stock in one hour. You are getting everything that you're seeing here. Can I just point something out as we sweep across? Your actual savings, so you're seeing it here. Now, with the one day special, you've got three different options. With each of those options, you would save seven pounds. That 21 pound saving is factored in already into the complete collection, but we don't stop there because you're also going to be getting a further four pound saving. Uh, if you'd gone for the embossing folders, which we'll see in one moment, we're just seeing the options for the uh, one day special. And then we're gonna get to, there we go, the embossing folders. So with the embossing folders, there's a four pound saving here. You don't miss out. That's if you were to buy them individually. That four pound saving is factored into the complete collection. So with the complete collection, you are saving 25 pounds, which have already been factored in, gets even better because as a total saving, if you're a Freedom member, so wait, let me just break this down so we're, we're clear on this. So if you're not a Freedom member, your total saving is 25 pounds plus the 11 pounds, so that's 36 pounds. If you're a Freedom member, you're saving on the complete collection 47 pounds and 49 pence. 47 pounds and 49 pence. This is what you're getting with the complete collection. Uh, so you're getting all three options with a one day special. Each option has an individual size. Uh, you're also getting the paper pad and the embossing folders. Right, I just wanna show you, apologies. <coughs> it's dust in my throat. So it's not new cough, nothing to worry about. Sorry, it's just working in the studio. Let me show you here. So if you go for the animals, this is the size of card that you uh, are working with just showing that. You do get that aspect, so you have got the, I love this, and you can put whatever you like there. So you're not that old, you are getting that stamp in there. So you're getting stamps, you're getting dies, you're getting the innovation with the wiper card in there as well. And thing is, anyone can do this, and that is the real joy of this collection. That's your first option, and let's just have a look at some of the gorgeous samples. I will have to take a, a little glug of water, so let's have a look at some of those.
Oh, yeah, I'm back. I'm so sorry. I, I wouldn't have lost. I couldn't have talked for 30 seconds without a drink of water. Uh, that has been our one day special. Sam, you have done a phenomenal job and I really do mean that hind on heart. So uh, we will be returning with a one day special uh, in a couple of hours. So uh, we've just got a happy hour and after that, the one day special will be back. Hopefully you'll be joining us. But thank you for your company.